The question to all is about geometric sequences. We have to find the nth term and geometric means. The geometric sequences formula is given like this. It's a n equals the first term multiplied by r n minus 1. You might find this similar to the arithmetic sequence, but over there it was all about plus, right? Here you are multiply because geometric means you're multiplying the number. This r is the common ratio. A1 is the first term, nth term, n is the number of terms. So here we have some terms, okay? The first and the last, we need to find the terms in between. Now what we need, what we can do, we know only one formula for the geometric sequence, that is a n equals a1 r n minus 1. So what all can we find over here? Can we find r? Can we find what is being multiplied? No, because we don't have the second term. To find r, we need a1, a2, any two consecutive terms, r will be second term divided by the first term. Because you multiply this by a number, you get the second term. So uh, a1 multiplied by r, it will go to the other side. This is the formula. But now we can't do that. But we know how many terms are there, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can tell n is equal to 5. The first term is 810. This is the nth term, that is phi, right? A n is A phi in this case. So can we substitute and try something? A n, that is A phi over here, because there are phi terms only, will be equal to A1 is 810. R is unknown. What is this n? n is phi minus 1. Now, what is A phi over here? It's 10 equals 810 r to the power 5 minus 1, that is 4. So you can directly put this in the calculator and solve, or you can simplify it. And, you know, you can take 81 to the other side and take the radical 4. But I'll show you how you can do it directly in calculator. Now you can write 10 equals, I've not, uh, I've considered the original function, not remove the zeros. So 810 multiplied by r is the variable, so we'll consider it to be x to the power, let's take 5 minus 1. Now you have to press shift and solve and then equal to, now you get the answer. It might take a few seconds, but you'll definitely get it. And uh, it's taken, now press equal to, and that's the answer. So the final answer is 0 0.33, that is one thirds. I remember doing this in the class and showing the students the calculator calculation some of them never got it. So you need to clear your calculator before this, before you start clear your calculator. And it will take about 40 seconds or 30 seconds. I can't remember now. It took a long time for them. So now I'll show you the calculation without the calculator method, just the algebraic calculation. Take 81 to the other side. It will be 1 divided by 81 equals r to the power 4. Take radical 4 on both the sides. It will be, you know, r will be, this much, this much you can put in the calculator directly. So we are shift and this symbol, use your radical, it's 4. And press next, it's 1 divided by 81. You know 3 to the power 4 is 81. So it should be 1 by 3 itself. So that's the answer. Oh, now that is just R. Wait a minute. We will do the answer now. We came to know R over here is 1 by 3rd. So that means you have to multiply 810 by 1 thirds to get the next term. And that's not it. You need to keep on multiplying one third three times. So we can do that in the calculator. Now what you need to do is this 810 multiplied by one thirds, one divided by three. What is the answer? It's 270. So since it's three, you can just do 270 multiplied by one third and so on. But if you want to save time, you can just save that as the answer. Now 270 what we got is saved as the answer, now multiplied by that is 90. And then when you press again, now answer is 90 here, you're getting 30, then 10, and the next terms would be so on and so forth. So here it's 270, 90, 30. Now there is one important thing to remember. Uh, I forgot to tell you, we took r to the power of 4, right? We got r to the power of 4, one, 100, 1 by 81, sorry. And then we took radical 4. Now, whenever there is even number, I forgot to write over here, it's plus or minus one thirds. It's not only plus, it can be plus or minus, always for a square root. 
power 4, power 6, any even number, it can be two possibilities. So in such cases, what you need to remember is, this is yes, correct answer, but there might be also this possibility. It is easy to figure out because in your options, you will come to know there are two set of answers. So select them. Okay. So this is the possibility. It can, okay, now it can be minus one third. So 810 times minus one third will be how much? It'll be minus 270. Then multiply this again, minus 270 times minus one thirds. This is going to be positive, uh, positive number. And then just solve it. It'll be 21 times 90. And then this is plus 90. And then 90 times again, negative one thirds will be negative 30 and so on. So this is how we solve it. We'll do one more problem here. Let's do a difficult one, last one over here. So first one, A1, AN, and there are five terms. N is equal to five. So we will substitute in the first formula. A5 is equal to A1, that is 729 divided by 64, multiplied by r to the power 5 minus 1 so it is 3 3 to 4 divided by 9 is equal to 729 divided by 64 r to the power 4 now you can try putting this directly in the calculator 324 divided by 9 will be equal to 729 divided by okay you should press this fraction symbol 64 multiplied with the variable x to the power 4 uh, 5 minus 1 is 4 shift and solve it'll take time now it's 1.33 that that means it's 4 by 3 so that's the answer now if you want to check what is the fraction symbol fraction you can just put 1.333 a lot of threes and it automatically gives you 4 by 3 so now r is not 4 by 3 it can be plus or minus 4 by 3 we will keep this plus or minus 4 divided by 3. Now you just have to multiply plus, first multiply plus 4 by 3, then minus 4 by 3. So whatever answer you will have, you will have two different answers. Let's do that in the calculator. Here let's take the first term, 729 multiplied with 60, divided by 64, multiplied with, it is 4 by thirds, 4 divided by 3. Let me do the negative one now. Because if you do negative one, then only the values are the positive. See, only for the negative one, we have to add negative. The values over here will be same. One will be all set of positives. One negative, positive, negative, alternating positive and negative. So I will multiply this. What's the answer? It's 243 divided by 16. Now what I'll do is I'll just ch change this to the solution. I mean, as answer, it's saved, right? Next one will be 81 by 4. You can see the answer. Next one will be positive only and the third one is negative 27 and here it is 36 but this 324 by 9 is also 36 you can see 324 divided by 9 is 36 itself but they have written in fraction that's it so th that's how we solve these problems over here they have given the same thing again but in words see they have told to find two geometric means between 3 and 375 there are two terms same thing, first use a n, but this time it's 4 because we have only 4 terms. a1 r n minus 1, right? That is 4 minus 1. So what is the fourth term? 375 equals, the first term is 3, r to the power 4 minus 1 is 3. It will be 375 divided by 3 and the cube root that is equal to r. Now here be careful. This is an odd power, right? You can try directly putting in the calculator as well. Now, since I've done the simplification, I'll put the simplification over here, 3. And this will be 375 divided by 3. Now, what about this? Is it plus or minus? No, it will be only plus. Only for even numbers, even powers, over here, there'll be plus or minus. But this is only 5. So let's start doing it. 3 times 5 is how much? 15. So now 3... 5 is the r value so just change this and put the answer 15 and 75 so that's the answer it's only positive there's no negative values why because it's a odd power over here same thing you need to do it over here and check the answers and that's the end of question 12 it's again another simple one please remember the 
geometric sequence formula substitute it find the r value and then you can easily find the terms